So we are down with uh, with we are down to our last uh, example. Y prime is equal to x e raised to negative y minus x squared. So this problem might seem a little tricky because of this, no? e raised to negative uh, y minus x squared. But remember, that could also be written as e raised to negative y times e raised to negative x squared. Okay, you have the same base and therefore you can uh, add the exponent. Okay, so let's put it in the differential form dy is equal to x e raised to negative y e raised to negative x squared differential x. So again, uh, y in here is our uh, dependent variable and we want to solve later on, uh, we want to solve for y in the particular solution. So what we are uh, going to multiply to our differential equation is uh, simply e 1 over e raised to negative y so we have dy over e raised to negative y is equal to x times e raised to negative x squared differential x so simplify that we have e raised to y dy minus e raised to negative x squared times x differential x is equal to 0. So we can integrate using the formula. We can integrate using the formula e raised to u du is equal to e raised to u plus c. So let's just simplify first the second term. e raised to negative x squared, the differential of uh, negative x squared is negative 2x dx. So for our answer, we have e raised to y, and here we have 2, so our balancing factor is uh, negative 1 half, so this will make it plus 1 half. Okay, so e raised to negative x squared is equal to c. So let's go ahead and uh, substitute the boundary condition is uh, the boundary condition that uh, when x is 0, y is equal to 0. When x is 0, y is equal to 0. Okay, so e raised to 0 plus e raised to uh, 0 as well over 2 is equal to c. So we can clearly see here that c is equal to 2. Okay, or pardon me c is equal to e raised to 0 is 1 plus e raised 1 half so c is equal to 3 halves okay so let's uh, substitute that we have e raised to y plus 1 half e raised to negative uh, x squared is equal to 3 halves So let's just go ahead and multiply 2. So we have 2 e raised to y plus e raised to negative x squared is equal to 3. And 2 e raised to y is equal to 3 minus e raised to negative x squared. So, because this is an exponential function, uh, let's just uh, say that this will be our final answer. At least it is uh, solved in y, but not actually solved in y, but e raised to y. So, that's it for the video.